property diagram for phase change processes and the property diagram it could be TV diagram it could be PV diagram it could be PT diagram so let's discuss TV diagram TV diagram so initially um, when we discussed the phase change processes for water and one atmosphere pressure in the previous video uh, we discussed actually how the phase change process uh, happen especially um, from you know the liquid the compressed liquid to you know s the saturated liquid and saturated vapor so we discussed it so it will be more or less same thing if you can remember we had a cylinder like objects we had a piston here and we had um, you know the water and initially we put some you know the energy at the bottom of this and other thing is the pressure it was 180 m so here the pressure is constant you can see um, in this case we are going to analyze the TV diagram where we'll pair you know the pressure it will vary we'll use different pressure and we'll see how it goes so um, we actually want to use some high pressure so if we want to put uh, the pressure like let's say 1 MPA so our ultimate target is if we want to increase the pressure 1 MPA so what we can do maybe we can put some load um, on top of this piston until the temperature inside the cylinder reaches like 1 MPA and what will happen when we will increase this pressure at this pressure the water it will somehow you know uh, this the the specific volume it will be somewhat smaller compared to you know the one atm pressure cases because it is high pressure so you know there's so we can expect a little uh, specific volume compared to the one atm now that's different thing and if we put the energy on top of the on, on the bottom of the cylinder then what will happen phase change process will start you know you can remember we had five stages the compressed liquid saturated liquid saturated vapor so you, you know initially it starts from here uh, especially for one MPA so it was uh, the temperature here then it increased let's say uh, this is the boiling temperature and throughout this boiling stage the temperature will be constant and once every single drop of water you know completes transformed to the you know the water vapor then we will start another phase so that you know we already know this so this phase change process it will be same just as it is but here what will happen we will we will see the cars it is it is exactly the same but we will notice some behavior it is different some behavior it should be different so let's say so what's that so previously we know for one atm pressure the boiling starts at 100 degrees centigrade temperature but here we will see the the boiling temperature like for one mpa this temperature it will be actually 180 like 179.9 degree centigrade that means this is actually the boiling temperature so that means water start boiling or you know the start um, becoming the vapor so the water liquid or the compressed liquid will be vapor at this temperature so that's the first observations from this crop if we increase the pressure and then the second observation is th for the saturated liquid and the, for the saturated vapor what will be the specific volume for saturated liquid the specific volume will be larger and, and for saturated vapor you know the specific volume it will be smaller compared to this one atm that means actually this is the this horizontal line you see this is actually the temperature um, no chance 
at this stage there will be no temperature variation from this sat saturated vapor liquid to the saturated vapor to this to a state this state to this state there will be no pressure temperature changes so if we increase the pressure like it is 0 0.0 on MPA this is 0 0.1 you see one so what will happen this horizontal line that means the joint between this saturated liquid and saturated vapor it will shrink it will decrease and you see if we go up let's say if we go up this way look this is actually decreasing so that's the another observation so that means if we increase the pressure more 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 this line will shrink and at some stage this two point the saturated liquid and saturated vapor they will intersect each other so there will be no a distinct phase like this so they will intersect each other and they will raise kind of equilibrium state at equilibrium we can say when they uh, intersect each other the point where they intersect we can say this is actually the critical point that means that means up to this point you know it was the the horizontal line will shrink and up to that they will meet each other and at this point it is actually it is the this saturated liquid and saturated vapor they will be identical so what we can say at critical point the temperature we will call it is critical temperature the pressure we will call the this is critical pressure so you see when they will intersect each other when the pressure is 22.06 MPa it is for water okay so we're discussing this curve for it is for water so it is actually the critical point so this pressure is critical pressure this temperature is critical temperature and this volume it is critical volume all right so you will see um, a appendix in in your book it is actually um, let me write it down here it is table a1 so if you go through table a1 from the appendix of your book then you will get all the critical properties actually for different substance so you may need it for some problem when you will solve some technical problem you may need these properties so just go through the appendix um, it is table a1 and then you will get all the you know, the properties but now the question is if we, we understand that okay this is the critical point but if the pressure is more than this critical pressure that means more than 22.2 .2 or something like that what will happen look previously it was the phase you can see some distinct phase uh, we can see the phase changes here this is the critical point we say this is PCR CR is critical P is the pressure critical pressure but if the pressure uh, at this point it is greater than or higher than the critical um, pressure then what will happen then we will not get a you know distinct phase change there will be no phase change we can say it is a um, you know it is a single phase and the observation will be the actually you know, the specific volume will increase that's what we discussed in our previous previous video so if the pressure here if the pressure it is greater than the critical pressure then what will happen we'll get a single phase the specific volume will increase and yeah this is just a one phase no phase change now the question is how we can uh, so what is our ultimate target was okay we actually want to draw the T and V diagram TV diagram so if we know um, actually this is uh, at this point this is saturated liquid this is saturated vapor so if we draw a line if we connect a line and if we want to separate the saturated liquid state and saturated vapor state so we can say look here this is our this is so this is the critical point here you look this is the critical point so if we draw a line if we want to 
separate the saturated liquid state by a line so we can draw a line like this let, let's say let me use this red color so we can say up to this critical point this is actually a saturated liquid line if we want to um, you know draw the saturated vapor or you know the yes the saturated vapor line so then we can draw maybe the another line from here this is the critical point here and this right hand side this line it will be the you know the saturated vapor line you look here in this figure this is actually the saturated vapor this is the saturated liquid so like I say we just draw a line like this we just draw another line like this so it will create a dome like object so it's it's it looks like a dome when these two line intersect at the critical point and you see it's exactly what we got here so that's actually gave us um, a dome like objects and now if we want if we actually want um, to locate all the compressed liquid state then you see the this saturated liquid line so this is the saturated liquid line so everything out of this line is definitely left hand side so whatever we have it is actually the compressed liquid region on the right hand side this is superheated vapor region so this is a single phase all this you know compressed liquid stage and the superheated vapor region it is actually you know this is uh, we can say um, in this two region it is a single phase either this is liquid this is superheated vapor that's the single phase okay so that's the thing and here the other thing is apart from those two all the states that involves both um, phase changes in equilibrium are located under under this dome and it is actually the saturated liquid and the vapor region in other words you can say this is the weight region so that's actually uh, the T and V diagram. So for T V diagram, the main thing it is the final shape. But the main thing we actually discussed here, and we discussed what will happen if the pressure is greater than the, you know, the critical uh, pressure. So then it will become a single phase. So there will be you know, there is not a distinct phase change process when, when the pressure is um, greater than this critical pressure. So actually that's the, that's the um, TV diagram and in, in our next video we'll discuss the PV diagram and PT diagram. So that's it.